What a lovely day in May. We're May. in May. May. 14th of May. 14th. Not been out for a while on adventures. So we've got me, Juliet. We have Michelle. Hello. So two out of the three wild witches. So we've also got Anubis drones. So we'll be getting some nice air shots later. In the distance, you can see Shard Bridge. So we're going to be exploring around this neck of the woods today. Isn't it lovely? It's absolutely stunning today. It's gorgeous. Proper spring day. In this area here, this is Gipple Creek coming out from Martin Mere. And in this spur of mud flats between the two creeks, where in the Edwardian times they found Bronze Age tools and pottery. Unfortunately, they were then taken to Poulton Town Hall and put on a shelf. When Poulton Town Hall was dissolved in the 70s, they disappeared. So nobody knows where these artefacts went. Here we are, actually on this little spur. And the artefacts were found at the tip over there. So one would presume there hasn't been much movement in the channel of the river wire on this side. Otherwise, I don't think they would have survived. This is part of what appears to be the original river bank. Since the Bronze Age finds were over to our far right, I can only presume that this bank is ancient. This is the land behind the old sea bank. I don't know whether these contours are caused by horses which can tamp down the ground and mimic archaeology or whether there's actually archaeology here. And there's Shard Bridge in the distance. In the distance, before the bridge, we can see a bend in the river with what appears to be large stones. It's possible that that was, was the remains of the original Old Wath or Old Fort before Shard Bridge was built. We're on the other side of Shard Bridge now, looking towards the opposite bank with what appear to be stones in the mud. We were going to investigate further down the riverbank on the other side, but I stood on a plank and got a nail in my foot. So we're filming from this side instead. This is what's left of the old Shard Bridge. It used to come in right next to the pub, which is here, and then go off into Hamilton. But the backlogs of traffic during the summer were so horrendous that the council built a toll-free bridge. Which is this monstrosity. This is the Singleton side of the river, an old medieval manor. Over there in the far distance, in the middle of the field, is one of England's largest dovecotes, no longer in action. Beyond the dovecote, is Mains Hall on New Mains Lane. Supposedly haunted, but only recorded as such by the new owner. This is where the new Shard Bridge comes in to the bypass. This is the old Shard Road that goes into Hamilton and is absolutely full of midges. In this stretch of the river, we used to have what was called Hambleton hookings. These were freshwater mussels that sometimes had pearls in. Now it stinks in Georgian times. 